first step is just going to be to remove the stock PCV hose. You can see here it has quick connects on both sides. So you simply just push this tab up and down and it'll unattach and just do that on both fittings. The second step is going to be installing these included nut clips right here on the fan shroud. You can see there's one location there and one location there. You simply slide it on, clicks in, and repeat for the second one. Our next step is going to be installing the bracket with the two included bolts. Uh, you're simply just going to slide it up on there and then with a 10 millimeter nut driver just tighten the bolts hand tight. Our next step is going to be prepping the catch can for installation. You're going to want to remove these three two and a half millimeter bolts from the top. Then you're going to want to thread the two included fittings into the top of the catch can. And then tighten them snug with a 17 millimeter wrench. These fittings do have O-rings, so you don't have to crank them too tight, just hand tight and snug. And also make sure that this drain plug is installed before you install the catch can. Our next step is going to be installing the catch can onto the bracket. Uh, what's going to be important here is the orientation of the fittings as it can be rotated within the bracket. So just sneak it up underneath here and your fittings are going to be pointing towards the engine like this and then just start by installing one of the bolts finger tight so that it could hang there without causing any issues and then go back and install your other two bolts finger tight as well. We're not tightening them fully at this time as we're going to wait until the hoses are on and then fully tighten the screws. Next you're going to want to install the outlet hose. Um, you can tell that this is the longer of the two hoses and it has a few more bends in it. Uh, you're going to want to start by kind of fishing it through underneath the intake like so and then you're going to want to clip it into the intake manifold right here. You should hear an audible click and then on the catch can you want to connect it to the side that says out. Make sure that you put the clamp on, and I suggest putting the clamp on so that uh, this is on this side, and then tighten the clamp. Based on how you rotate this hose on this fitting, it will be able to touch the intake, so what you want to do is just rotate the hose so that it's not touching the bottom of the intake right there. Our next step is going to be to install the inlet hose that goes from the valve cover to the catch can. You're going to want to install this fitting with it open like that and then get it on the fitting and then close it by pushing up on these two tabs. And pushing it back in. You're going to want to feed it underneath this harness right here. And then route this underneath the intake. and then installed on the PCV fitting on the valve cover. And now on the catch can side, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this hose goes into the side of the catch can that says in, and make sure you don't forget your clamp, and then tighten your clamp with a seven millimeter nut driver. The last step is you're gonna to wanna to tighten these three two and a half millimeter Allen screws. Uh, they are pretty small, so you don't wanna over tighten them, but make sure that it's snug. And while you're doing that, you can also adjust the orientation of the catch can. The, the hoses will dictate part of the orientation, but you can see there's a little bit of movement right there. You're going to want to make sure that the clamp is not touching the bracket or else that will start making noise in your engine bay. You're all done. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. That was good. That was easy.